This episode is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Vibrations Tackle, international headquarters for blade bait. Any fish, any water, any time. Chaos Tackle, when all chaos breaks loose. And Lee Lures, custom bait. I'm your co-host, Justin Blanchard. It's been a little bit since we've aired, but... In our first segment, you're going to see Brian and Nathan as they target pike over ultra shallow water using a slightly unconventional method. Take a look. Hey everybody, Brian Skate from Catch the Vibe Outdoors. We're out here ice fishing today with my buddy Nate and his uncles. We're fishing some really super shallow water. I mean, there's about that much water underneath the ice. Uh, we've already got a couple pike on the ice. It should be fun. We've got some cameras underwater. Hopefully get some underwater footage. But uh, we're just waiting for a couple more to hit. Nice little bike. <laughs> Getting anything big here, but it's it's really fun fishing.
everybody, we had an awesome day out here today. Uh, 72 flags, 23 fish on the ice. Uh, we're gonna pack it up. The, the ice is getting a little sketchy on us right now, so we're gonna bail out. But uh, thanks for watching, catch the live outdoors. Uh, check us out on Facebook. Uh, subscribe to us on the YouTube channel, and uh, we'll see you next time. Catch you, bye, baby. Now that looked like an absolute blast, Brian and Nathan, and great job in getting that video footage underwater. That was incredible footage. I think we could all learn something. You ever wonder, you know, all those times you got your beaver dam set out and the flag gets tripped and you head over there and you only got about a foot of line out? Well, we just saw firsthand what can happen under the ice. That pike completely inhaled that shiner and spit it right back out. But I guess now we know. Uh, another thing I'd like to point out, just to our audience, to our followers, that Brian and Nathan were fishing, you know, awfully close to some pretty open water, and they had to get off because it was getting kind of warm. I just want to make it very clear that we are very safe, and Brian and Nathan were very, very familiar with that body of water and knew that they were only fishing over a couple feet of water. Uh, so I just want to make that clear. In our next segment, let's head up to Green Bay, Wisconsin. We're going to be fishing with Zach Burgess of the Why Not Guide Service, targeting whitefish. Take a look. Hello, Zach here from Why Not Guide Service. Uh, we were out doing some whitefish fishing today. Uh, we were doing pretty well on the new Echo Tails from Vibrations Tackle, a little whitefish rig. Uh, some of the stuff that I do offer is, as you can see in the background here, I do have the sleeper shacks uh, for the overnight stays for whitefish or whitefish and walleye combo trips. Uh, we fish the whitefish during the day and the walleyes in the morning and evening. Or if you don't want to stay out overnight on the ice, I do offer just the day trips as well, where you can just come out for the, the day and do some fishing. So if you uh, want to check anything out, uh, check us on the web at whynotguideservice.com. White fish. Take it easy there, big fella. <laughs> Super large white fish. How do you know if it's a white fish? I don't know. It'd be nice if it was about a 10 pound wall. Right? Yep. That's what I want. White fish is good. You've never had white fish. Uh, white fish and I got somebody else's line. <laughs> Me? Oh boy. That's alright, we'll get that figured out later. Fish rig kit. On the inside of the kit here, you get five different echo tails in three different sizes. We got the quarter ounce here, you got the 3 8 ounce right here for deeper water, and then here we have the 3 16 ounce. Okay. Safely rod, bring up the white fish on the quarter ounce prototype echo tail. Nice white fish. Just got one there on it, and right over here, we got number two on the same bait here. Field staff, Dave Gugger, for Catch the Five Outdoors, bringing in a nice whitefish. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Hey 
great job, Zach. You put my dad and his friend Dave on all those whitefish. They can't stop talking about it still to this day, and they are going to be booking a trip with you next year. Now, in our episode, you may have noticed that we have a little new feature we've added called Getting Cartooned. That's right. I do all the editing, and if I see something that's out of place or a fib, like my dad saying, oh yeah, whitefish are good, and Dave calls him out on it because he had never eaten whitefish before, you're going to get cartooned over something like that. Or how about when my dad stuck his head, almost stuck his head down the hole because a whitefish swam underneath or jumped off his line underneath the shack? Yeah, you're getting cartooned. You do something silly, you make up a lie, you get caught like a little fishtail, I'm going to cartoon you. And that, that includes me too. I did a couple silly things here coming up. Actually, I didn't do anything silly. A muskie almost took my throat out, which we found on film after the fact. So our next segment, that brings us to our last segment we're going to be back on the madison chain fishing tip-ups on lake wabisa but before we get started dan butcher's got a nice little ice fishing tip for you in case you're hungry take a look here you go here you go there you go Alright, what do you got Dan? What do you got going on today? What we got going on is we have a grill made out of a five gallon pail. And it is real simple, it's real easy, and we're going to feed everybody today off a five gallon pail. That uh, It's just real simple and real easy and it, and it uh, and here's the other one Justin, I can walk around and feed everybody if I want to. So. Uh, the peel itself is I got two grates in there. I got a grate down below with my charcoal and I so get a little bit of air for my charcoal and then I got another grate that I can put my food on. And uh, but when I go ice fishing I can I put everything in my pail. I put my food, my charcoal, everything goes in there. And then I put my lid on top. And my lid goes on top which keeps everything nice and dry and kind of keeps it from getting all screwed up and then uh, once we get out here we light it now you need uh, the biscuit we need the biscuit so we got the biscuit that gets everything lit but uh, the whole key is this is you, you have the little lip here justin on the side you get the little lip on the side that way that your handle doesn't get hot and i can walk around and feed everybody but when we get done i put the lid on i put it back in the sled i put all my garbage or whatever i got i put everything in the pail and i go home it's simple and easy on earlier also doubles as a heated seat so basically what we did is we made a bunch of brats and stuff and we kind of let the, the charcoal burn down and now it's down to the point where we were able to throw the metal lid back on top of our bucket grill we got a heat seat it's freaking awesome I love it I, it's cold out here I mean there's a little bit of wind and it's starting to get a little dark and I mean I'm toasty man this is awesome <laughs> Alright guys, we're out here on Lake Wapisa, and kind of a slow morning, and uh, I lovingly call this my idiot stick, it's a little panfish noodle action rod, and I always set it out with a, uh, a little shiner, and I put a bobber about halfway down the line, and I let the drag set real light, just for fun, just to see if something, uh, something big's going to come along and grab it, and uh, oh, we lost it. We lost it! <laughs> no! <laughs> I spent too much time yeah, screwing around getting ready. ready.
<laughs> so as you can see we almost ran into a little complication that is that musky launching up out of the hole going for my throat never really expected that to happen but uh it was a blessing to, to have that fish on the end of her line uh you know he made a lot of runs and a couple times I thought I was going to be able to grab him. We didn't want to gap him. It was a muskie. We wanted a safe return of that fish. Uh, but uh, in all, we had a great day. Uh, kids got out, got to do a little ice skating. Um, taught them a few things with uh, learning how to tip up fish. And Dan had his uh, new cooker out. And, and uh, tried a little jigging for some panfish too. But uh, we were just having a good time. Ran into a couple complications. The, uh, the cameraman, being me, myself, I, I did not come up with fully charged batteries, so it made it a little challenging. We actually ended up having to use devices like our cell phones and stuff to kind of piece that episode together for that segment. But um, in all, we had a great time. That pretty much wraps up our, our uh, episode 7 here. Uh, look forward to a new episode, episode... Eight is going to be released sometime in the middle of March to the end of March, maybe the beginning of April. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Be sure to follow us on our YouTube page, Catch the Vibe Outdoors. Like us on our Facebook page. Feel free to comment. Let us know what you want to see. Let us know what you thought about the show. And once again, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you next time on Catch the Vibe Outdoors.